Hi guys, so I'm unboxing my latest pop in the box today. Um, apologies for the lighting and the blurriness. Um, I'm filming quite late at night, it's probably about one o'clock in the morning. Um, I've just got home from a trip and found my pop in the box order being delivered while I was away and I could wait till tomorrow. I'm just not that patient of a person. So it's happening now. Um, I do have a mini haul I want to do as well as this, so I'll do pop in the box and then a haul. But um, because it is so late at night, I'll actually do that tomorrow, so the light for the rest of the video will be better. Just the pop in the box for it, not so good. Right, let's get into this. Okay, so, um, I've not looked. Let's just get in there and see. Um, okay. Aha. <laughs> How did I know this was going to happen? Um, I have received my first oversized pop. Uh, it's Smaug, he's kind of cool, but the box is damaged, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, the box, I think, has been thrown around a bit by Yodel, there's a bit of a mess there, so it's not ideal. Um, but what's more frustrating is that I've literally this week just bought Chase Smaug. I didn't think I'd ever get this one um, from Pop the Box, because I think I've been subscribed for about six months now and haven't had an oversized one. so. I bit the bullet and decided to get the chase one and oh dear not ideal but I mean it's really cool of them I do really like it it's a bit of a shame about the box because it means that if I try to resell it now um, people will probably be grumpy about it um, it's surprising actually I sold something recently and they wanted a huge, huge discount because of a tiny crease on the lid, nowhere near as bad as this one, so yeah, we'll see. But I do like him, it's a bit of a shame that I just bought the other one, but I wanted the, the reptile eyes really, and I saw it online and I thought, do you know what, I have to order that. And I thought, oh, I bet it'll be Sod's Law that I'll get it from Pop in the Box. What are you going to do? Right, so let's put that out of the way a second. I have already seen just now what the other one was, which is pretty cool. So let's see what he is like. Yeah, no damage this one at all. I think it's just where, I'll show you in a second, the corner is pretty bashed in by Yodel, so I think that they've probably caused the damage to Smaug. Um, it's Buzz Lightyear. Now I do have the original Buzz with the blue box um, and the non no of the, what? <laughs> I do have the original Buzz with the blue box without the helmet, visor, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I decided that I wanted this one because I thought he looked really cool with his little plastic visor helmet. So I decided to get him. Um, so now I need Rex to complete that set. Um, I've got Ham and I've got all the Woodies and Zerg and Lotso and all that jazz. So yeah, I need to get a hold of Rex. Um, now I also am going to need to get a hold of the Pop Ride that they've announced. They've announced they're going to do RC and Woody, um, so I desperately want that when that comes out. And I think they've also announced they're doing, unless I've made this up, because I've not seen pictures of it, but um, I've heard they're going to do um, the pops that you get in a tin. They're going to do army men um, and do three army men in a tin, so I'm de that's going to be the only tin I'll probably ever buy, and I'm, it's going to happen, so, or at least provided I haven't imagined it. <laughs> <clears throat> So yeah, that's my pop in the box order for tonight. Um, if you just stay tuned, I will do the rest of, of a haul I've got recently. I've got a great big load of pops to do. So yeah, hang on around for that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. Night. <laughs> Hi guys. So um, I left you after I'd shown you my pop in the box subscription. Um, now I've got a huge haul to show you. Um, I've got a few here that are grails, like epic grails that I wanted for a long, long time. Um, and some I've just bought because they were gonna be retiring or have already retired. Um, this one, bought Santa Claus. Uh, he doesn't really go with anything else since I'm showing him first. It's a bit of a weird time of year to be buying Santa Claus as well. But um, yeah, I just sort of thought that Buddy the Elf needed a friend and really Santa Claus is the only one that made sense. Um, so I saw someone selling him for about £12 including postage or £14 including postage. So uh, yeah, I picked him up. He's really cool. I like him a lot. So that's number one. Um, now, I mentioned in my last video, last pop video anyway, that um, the some of the Walking Dead ones have been retired now. So I decided to pick some of those up. Um, I got a couple of unboxed ones. I got Bicycle Girl, 
He's really gross. Like, how gross is that? Fairy is the answer. Uh, but yeah, I wanted her. Oh, I should show you her back of her, actually. Like, that is just so grim. But yeah, I think I paid about £6 for her. Um, and then I got Well Walker as well from the same person, which comes apart, if you didn't know. He's really quite gross too, but yeah, he comes apart. Um, I think I paid £6 posted for both of those about each so that's pretty cool um, and then I got a couple more Walking Dead ones just two I think um, I decided that I needed to have a collection of Ricks God, what is going on with this camera today it's focusing is awful I apologize if this video is being a pain um, I got two Ricks because I decided that the one Rick I had wasn't enough um, I thought the new one looked really cute and then I kind of thought it was illegal not to have the, um, the prison guard one as well so prison yard one so it picked up a couple of ricks. So that's very exciting. Now I think apart from Abraham and Morgan, I think I've got all the Walking Dead ones that I want. So that's pretty cool. Um, I had a pop in the box pre-order for Willy Wonka. Um, I'm still waiting. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm still waiting for my Oompa Loompa. Um, they are about eight pounds each posted on Pop in the Box. They had like an early pre-order price so couldn't resist that at all. He looks really cool in his little cane. It's really cute. So very happy with that one. And at the same time they sent me a Pop Tea but that's right at the bottom of the pile so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I traded one of the Pops that I've got that didn't well, I didn't want. Um, ends up being the Retro Batman because I got the Batmobile had the same Pop in it so I just sold my, or I traded sorry, my Retro Batman for Rachel Green from Friends. She's really cute with her little waitress. It actually says um, waitress apron and the cut, both say central perk on them. It's really cute, really good detail on it. And the hair is so cool, I love that. That's really cool. Um, so now I just need to get the rest of the set really. So yeah, let's pop that down there. Um, I got my first Stan Lee pop. It is just the um, the comic, the superhero one. Uh, this is a fairly common one. It's not difficult to get hold of or anything. Um, I got it from Pop Culture in the end. It was a raffle win, so that's really cool. I like him a lot. Can't wait to get him out. Sit in with the rest of my Marvel pops. Um, I do really like. There's um, a grey and blue one that was a um, a New York New York Comic Con. Ex it was a New York Comic Con exclusive one that I really want, but I think it's about 80 quid or something now, and I'm just, no. As much as I want that pop, I'm, I don't want to pay that money for it, so I shan't be getting that one anytime soon. Um, I went to Forbidden Planet in Cardiff with my sister um, while we were there recently, and they had, a, they had loads of pops that I could have bought and ran away with but I decided to go for two. Um, I got a couple of pops that I've been wanting for a while. I've had this one, Frost Giant Loki. I've had that pre-ordered on the top of the box for a little while but they just don't seem to be getting it in. Like They promised they were going to get them um, about um, two months ago or something and I just haven't heard anything so I decided that I would just cancel that pre-order and buy one that I could look at because especially some of the paintwork in them, on them was quite dodgy so I looked hard to find one with decent paintwork. Um, and it actually worked, worked out being about a pound cheaper than I would have paid for it from Pop in the Box anyway. So I just thought, sod it, I'll just buy that. And then this next one is a bit of a grail. Um, he's quite hard to come by. I don't, he's not very often in the shops. Um, he doesn't seem to sell that often in any of the groups that I belong to. Um, but he's not, I don't even think he's retired. I just think for some reason he's not around a lot. Um, I think you can get him on Amazon, but again, you don't get to see what the paintwork is like. You don't get to check the box condition. So as I saw him in person, I just thought that I would buy him and it is Dumbo and I have no regrets. He's really adorable. My sister's not a fan of how the trunk is attached. She thinks it should all be part of one molded piece, but I feel like that'd be really difficult for them to do. So I'm happy just to have him as he is. I think he's really cute. So, yeah, I don't actually have, I think I've only got one from this whole set. I've only got Merida. I don't have any of the others. 
a bit of a shame really. I'd quite like to get, um, I'll get Mary Poppins at some point and I'd quite like to get Baloo um, so I could get the rest of that Jungle Book set but he's really expensive so I don't know if I will. Um, the Aladdin's really expensive as well. So um, I did see they're releasing a Doug from Up um, so I might need to get a Carlin Russell to go with because I haven't ironed them for a little while anyway so that would make quite a nice set so I'll have to do that at some point. Um, and then all the rest of the ones I got um, are grails that I've been after for a very long time and then they're like true grails. Um, I will show you these ones first. Um, I showed, um, I mentioned that I got a Chase Smaug. Um, I bought that the other day. Let me just get that out in a minute. I bought a, a Chase Smaug um, for £30 posted. really like him. Um, so yeah, I don't know if to keep the other one or not. The box, like I say, is the box is damaged on the top of the box one. So I haven't made the decision yet. I have seen a couple of customs that look really cool. So I might just decide to keep him and make a custom out of it. So, but this Chase one is staying for good. And he's really cool. I like him a lot. Um, and then the person I was buying Smaug from happened to have Gandalf. Um, the un the one without the hat. Unhatted? Hatless? Hatless, let's go with that. Um, hatless Gandalf for, I think, I think I paid 70 for both of them posted or 75 for both of them posted. So it was, it was really good. I liked him a lot. Um, oh, maybe it was less than that. Maybe it was 70 post. I don't know, whatever. Um, I think he's about 30, 35 pounds, something like that. So he's really cool. Um, I won a raffle. Again, I keep saying that I'll put the link down. I keep forgetting, I think, but I will put the link in this one. Um, yeah, I won a, a basically 80 pounds worth of pops from um, a Facebook group twice recently. And so I got this one. I got um, the Stanley and Smaug and something else. Oh, I've got a couple on the way still. I got them all for that for an £80 set raffle, so that was really good. Um, I sold a pop that I had. I won Cinderella in a raffle. Cinderella? What am I talking about? I won Cruella in a raffle um, a few videos ago, or a few months ago if you're in real time. And I liked her, but the opportunity to buy these next two pops came up and I decided that I would far rather have them. So I sold Cruella and with the proceeds I bought these next two pops. Um, so I mean I do feel, I mean I did like Cinderella and if I see her again for a good price in the future I might try and get her. But I was just desperate to have these two pops so I decided that it was meant to be. Um, and I got, the, and these were actually my, these were my um, 199th and my 200th pops. So they were quite good to um, have such epic pops for such a, a milestone. They're in pop projectors, which is why they're so shiny. But yeah, Bilbo and Gollum. Could not have been happier to get both of those. Um, so now what I need is um, Azog and Smaug, and I, prob I probably want to get the Invisible Bilbo, because I think that would be really cool as well. Did I just say Smaug? I didn't mean Smaug, I meant Sauron. So I now need to get Azog and Sauron, and the invisible Bilbo, and then that set will be complete. So I'm really happy with those, they're really cool. And then I'll show you the pop tea I got. It's the, um, the Civil War one. I haven't actually got it out yet, but it's the same size as the um, collectible ones I get, so I reckon it'll be fine. Um, and that's really adorable, I like that. Probably gonna wear that to the movie because I'm that cool. In fact, I'll show you the full design. There we go. Yeah, that was a Black Friday sale. So um, I think that's about 12 pounds or something. So couldn't really leave it for that. And then last, but by no means least, and if you've watched my videos before, you will know that this pop I've been after for a very long time. Um, I won a second set raffle and so had a bit of money to play with. So I spent, I think it was 50 pounds on this pop. Uh, it didn't have a box. I bought it on eBay. Um, the person who I bought it from did say that if they found the box they would include it and uh, send it on to me. But I'm not that worried. I just wanted this pop so badly that I honestly didn't care about the box or not. Um, and it was the cheapest I've ever seen her. So I was thrilled to get her. And it is the Wicked Witch. I wanted her so badly. 
she's just utterly adorable. She's got quite some quite good detail work on her um on her dress there as well. And it very much is all about the um it's about wicked for me more than it is always the doors if I'm completely honest. But I just love her. I was so happy to get her. I did a little dance when she arrived finally. So I've had some really good grails this month. There are still some grails I want to get. Not loads now, thankfully. I mean, there'll always be some ones that I think are a bit unattainable, but I've done I've I've been so lucky this month to get the ones that I have got. I've had a couple of lucky wins, but I've also just had a good luck on finding things for sale at the right time sort of thing. So yeah, very happy with all of these pops. Can't wait to go and unbox them all, but I feel like that would take about seven hours if I did that on video, so yep. Um I have a few more videos for you coming soon, so um, keep an eye out for those. Um, I'm I was thinking about doing a travel tips video, so yeah, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I think I'm maybe doing a New York one, a London one, and like a general travelling, like, like video series, like, like, like. So if uh, that was something you, you'd be interested in, then just let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I wish that you get your grails also. Bye for now.